Good evening. My name is Jake Harrigan. I'm joined here by my co-host, Fernando Garcia Crespo. Welcome to another segment of Voting for Change. Here today we have Ian Sutar. Ian is a small business owner, an activist, and a, a previous candidate in Coquitlam for the provincial election for the Greens. And we're very excited to have him here and to hear what his uh, views are in proportional representation in this upcoming referendum. Yeah, thanks for coming on the show, Ian. Yeah. So how did you first hear about proportional representation? What was your first exposure with it? Uh, probably about as soon as I got into politics, because that uh, was about 2015, right before the federal elections. Right. And uh, so, well, I want to save some trees by fighting Stephen Harper. What's the only way that makes sense? The Green right. Party. They're never going to get in. Why is that? Oh, because of our electoral system. So um, that's where I started to learn about. We start with first past the post. You see what's wrong with that. And then, well, what are the other options? Oh, proportional representation, like almost every other developed country in the world. So Right, yeah. right, right, definitely. So for you, it wasn't even looking at these options as something on the bright horizon. It was just what was wrong with our current system. Yes. And that's what started you on this little journey. Yeah. I mean, I, the prime minister did a fabulous job of getting it on everyone's minds and making them vote liberal. And then, ah, then we learned about it after the committee went across the entire country and got everyone excited. So we learned a lot about it in, well, I guess, in the last couple of years as well. So, so what is wrong with first pass the post? You said you first learned about what was wrong with our system. Uh, there's a lot of really complex details that a person could go down, but simply put, the there are more people not getting what they want than people getting what they want out of their government, which okay. doesn't make any sense. You have a, a minority of the people making the majority of the decisions, which is not representative of the country. So if it's not proportional or representative, then it's the opposite, which is not good for democracy. No, exactly. It seems to go against a lot of what we imagine to be the basic democratic values that we all hold dear. Well, it makes sense if there are only uh, two political parties in the system or binary thinking. Yes, you know, winner, loser makes a lot of sense. But right. we're a diverse people in this country with more than two ways of thinking. So exactly. as soon as we have that, the system breaks down. 